<laughs> a beautiful woman approaches a pharmacist and asks, Do you have extra large... The pharmacist replies, Yes, aisle 11. The blonde goes to the aisle, but about 30 minutes later she is still looking at the... The pharmacist calls over to her, Do you need some help? The woman replies, No, I'm just waiting for somebody to buy some. Two older women were outside their nursing home, having a smoke, when it started to rain. One of the ladies pulled out a cut off the end, put it over her and continued First lady, what's that? Second lady, a This way my doesn't get wet. First lady, where did you get it? Second lady, you can get them at any drugstore. The next day, Lady One hobbles herself into the local drugstore and announces to the pharmacist that she wants a box of <laughs> The guy, obviously embarrassed, looks at her strangely. She is, after all, over 80 years old, but very delicately asks what brand she prefers. Doesn't matter, son, as long as it fits a camel. A husband comes home to find his wife with her suitcases packed in the living room. Where the hell do you think you're going? He says. I'm going to Las Vegas, she says. You can earn $400 for a baby there, and I figured that I might as well earn money for what I do to you free. The husband thinks for a moment, goes upstairs and comes back down with his suitcase packed as well. Where do you think you're going? The wife asks. I'm coming with you. I want to see how you survive on $800 a year. Boss called his two sales agents and said, Guys, I'm not happy with you. What's going on? The sales volume is minimal. I've decided to make it a competition. Whoever wins at the end of the month will receive a prize. An amazing <laughs> courtesy of the company. Any questions? Well, the winner gets the <laughs> But what about the loser? One of the agents asked. The one who loses will be the one giving it replied the boss. One day a girl on the beach with no arms or legs was crying, and a lifeguard saw here came up to here and asked, Why are you crying? Because I've never been hugged before, she said. He hugs her and goes on. A few minutes later she's crying again. Another lifeguard sees her and asks, What's wrong? She tells him, I've never been kissed before. He kisses her and goes on a few minutes later. She's crying again. Another lifeguard sees her, comes up to her, and asks, What's wrong? She tells him, I've never been a before. So he picks her up, throws her in the ocean, and says, Well, you're now. A couple took their young son to his first circus. When the father left to buy popcorn, the boy asked, Mom, what's that long thing on the elephant? That's the elephant's trunk, dear, she replied. No, Mom, down underneath. His mother blushed and said, Oh, that's nothing. The father returned, and the mother went to get a soda. As soon as she left, the boy repeated his question. The father took a good look and explained, That's the elephant's... Dad, how come when I asked Mom? She said it was nothing. The man took a deep breath and replied, Son, I've spoiled that woman. A big city lecturer is giving a lecture on vegetarianism at a collective farm club. Look, gentlemen farmers, you've been eating meat all your life and don't know how harmful it is. Cholesterol levels rise in the blood. From the back row, a 90-year-old grandpa yells, and your feet get cold. The lecturer, surprised, continues. Your veins get clogged. The heart valve is under double strain. Grandpa again. And your feet get cold. The lecturer finishes. All this leads to premature aging of the body. Grandpa won't quiet down. And your feet get cold. The lecturer, unable to bear it. Well, Grandpa, explain what feet have to do with it. Well, I'm already 90. And when I eat meat before bed... I get a hard-on at night. The blanket gets pulled off my feet and my feet get cold. 
two ladies are playing golf. One hits the ball and with horror sees it hit one of the men in the nearby group. The man grabs his groin, falls, and starts rolling on the ground with a groan. The lady runs up to him and says, I'm so sorry, it was an accident. The man replies, It's okay, it will pass in a moment. The lady insists, Let me help you. The man responds, It's okay, everything's fine. Oh! The lady, who is a doctor, puts the man on his back, unzips his pants, puts her hand inside, and starts massaging. She asks, Feeling better? The man replies, Oh, it feels really great, but my big toe still hurts like hell. A professor was giving a lecture on involuntary muscular contractions to his first-year medical students. Realizing that this was not the most riveting subject, he decided to lighten the mood. He pointed to a young woman in the front row and asked, Do you know what your asshole is doing while you're having an she replied, he's probably playing golf with his friends. A guy takes his girlfriend to his bedroom, drops his pants and says, meet my little brother. The girlfriend picks up her purse on the way out and says, call me when he grows up. An 18-year-old girl arrives with her mom, grandma and dog Sparky from the countryside to the big city. The girl hails a taxi. A man stops. Could you give us a ride, please? She says. All I do with girls like you is f says the driver and drives off. The girl, in confusion, goes to her mother and asks her a question. Mom, what does f Um, well, in one word, it means to give a ride. The girl hails another car. A man stops. The girl says, could you f And who exactly? Me, Mom, Grandma, and Sparky. You, with pleasure, Mom. I guess I can, but let's Grandma. A guy walks into the bar of a restaurant and goes to the bartender and asks, How much for a beer? The bartender replies, One. The customer, completely amazed, orders a beer, then asks the bartender, Well then, how much for a NY sirloin? with side of mashed potatoes and salad, and an entire cheesecake for dessert. The bartender replies, five doll. The guy, still amazed, then orders everything, and after he is done eating his meal, then says, Wow, this place is amazing. I really wish I could meet the owner of this place. The bartender then says, Oh, well, he's upstairs in his office with my wife. The guy looks all confused, then asks, what is he doing upstairs in his office with your wife? The bartender then says, The same thing I'm doing to his business. After picking her son up from school one day, the mother asks him what he did at school. The kid replies, I had my teacher. She gets so mad that when they get home, she orders him to go straight to his room. When the father returns home that evening, the mother angrily tells him the news of what their son had done. As the father hears the news, a huge grin spreads across his face. He walks to his son's room and asks him what happened at school. The son tells him, I had a teacher. The father tells the boy that he is so proud of him, and he is going to reward him with the bike he has been asking for. On the way to the store, the dad asks his son if he would like to ride his new bike home. His son responds, No thanks, Dad. My hurts. Two friends are sharing how their International Women's Day went with their loved ones. The first one says, It was awful. He took me to his place, straight to bed, came in five minutes, and fell asleep. Nightmare. The second one says, Oh, for me, it was like a dream. We went to a restaurant, drank amazing wine, went to his place, two hours of foreplay, an hour of and then we talked for a whole hour. Super! At the same time, two men are meeting on the other side of the city. One says, it was a great evening. We went straight to my place. 
no beating around the bush, had ever I fell asleep, got some rest, feeling great. The other says, mine was a disaster. I had to drag her to a restaurant. The waiter brought the most expensive wine. I felt uncomfortable, but had to take it. When we got home, I couldn't get it up for two hours, couldn't finish for an hour, and then couldn't fall asleep for an hour. A farmer buys a young rooster. As soon as he brings the bird to the farm, it rushes and f 150 hens. The farmer is impressed thinking about all the eggs the hens would hatch. At lunch, the rooster again f all 150 hens. The farmer gets a bit worried now. The next day, he finds the rooster f ducks, geese, and a parrot too, which is now scaring him. Later that day, he finds the rooster lying pale, half dead, with vultures circling over its head. The farmer says, You horny you deserve this. The rooster opens one eye, points up, and whispers, Shh! Don't shout! Let them land! Mr. Wilson comes home one night, and his wife throws her arms around his neck. I have great news. I'm a month overdue. I think we're going to have a baby. The doctor gave me a test today, but until we find out for sure, we can't tell anybody. The next day, Mrs. Wilson receives a call from the electric company because the electricity bill hasn't been paid. Am I speaking to Mrs. Wilson? Yes, speaking. The electric company guy says, You're a month overdue, you know? How do you know? stammers the young woman. Well, ma'am, it's in our files says the electric company guy. What are you saying? It's in your files? How? Yes, we have a system for finding out who's overdue. God, this is too much. Madam, I'm sorry. I'm following orders. I have to inform you that you are overdue. I know that. Let me talk to my husband about this tonight. He will speak to your company tomorrow. That night, she tells her husband about the call, and he, furious, rushes to the electric company office the next morning. What's going on? You have it on file that my wife is a month overdue? What business is that of yours? The husband shouts. Just calm down, says the lady at the reception. It's nothing serious. All you have to do is pay us. Pay you? And if I refuse... Well, in that case, sir, we'd have no option but to cut yours off. And what would my wife do then? The husband asks. I don't know. I guess she'd have to use a candle. A mom of an eight-year-old boy is awaiting her son's arrival from school. As he runs in, he says he needs to talk to her about making babies. He claims he knows about the development of a fetus, but doesn't understand the answer to the million-dollar question. Namely, how does the sh get into the woman? The mom asks the boy what he thinks the answer is. The boy says that the sh manufactured in the man's stomach rises up to his chest, then throat and into his mouth, where he then kisses the woman and deposits the sh to her mouth. The mom tells her boy that it is a good guess, but it's wrong. She gives him a hint by telling him that the sh comes out of the man's Suddenly, the boy's face becomes quite red, and he says, You mean you put your mouth on that thing? Three pregnant women were at the OBGYN to find out the babies. They got to talking in the waiting room, and the brunette says, I know mine is a boy because I was on bottom when I got pregnant. The redhead thinks for a second and says, Well, then mine must be a girl because I am always on top. The blonde gets excited and says, I can't wait to see my puppies. Adam wanted to have Eve. He spreads her legs, but there are no holes there. He says to her, How are we going to have if you have nothing there? Eve thought and went to the stork. She came and said, Stork, make a hole for me. The stork pecked her between the legs. Since then, Eve has a hole there, and the stork has a red beak. She returns to Adam, shows him. He looked and said, I have hair on my pubic area, and you're all bare. Eve thought and went to the monkey. She came and said, 
Make hair on my pubic area for me. The monkey rubbed her, her pubic area. Since then, hair grows there for Eve, and the monkeys have a bald and pink bald. Eve returned to Adam, he saw it and was happy, quickly had her and said again, I can't, it's dry there, like in a desert. Eve went to the sea, called the fish and said to it, Make it slippery inside me. The fish dived in there, twisted inside and back into the water. Since then, it's not clear, either the fish smells like a or the va is like a fish. Ha 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 